Good afternoon, class. Uh, today we're going to talk about the commands you need to do week two of your MATLAB homework. We're going to talk about creating vectors, uh, doing element-wise operations, and doing a simple plot. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out how to create vectors. And vectors in a MATLAB program are simply a list of numbers. For example, if I wanted to create a year vector, and in that vector I want to have a number of years, one way to do that is to type the following. I'm going to come in here. Uh, let's see. We don't. We don't need to look at that. Here we go. Uh, there we go. I could just type out the following. Here's a year, and I've got one, two, three, four, five. I just type them in. I leave a space in between them to tell it when we have a new number. Notice it's square brackets, not round brackets. And when I execute this, I now have a vector called year, which is this row of five numbers. So that's the simplest way to put in there. Um, another way to do this is another command here. Let's do uh, another one year. How about year one? So I have a new variable. And let's have that go from 2000. So there's my first year. If I put in a semicolon and I put a spacing here. And if I want every year in there, I say 2000, spacing of 1. And let's end at 2020. So this is the first number. There's the last number, and this is the spacing. This should make 2000, 2001, 2002, etc. Let's see what happens when I hit enter. There we go. There's, there are the vectors. It goes from 2000 to 2020. All right. Uh, let's try changing the spacing. Now, if I go on down here and I hit the up command, it'll show me the last command that types in. Let's let's put that one in again. And let's change the spacing to 2. So now it should just do the even numbered years in that same range. And when I hit return, oh, there we go. Now it looks like this 2000, 2002, 2004. All right, so you guys can see. You can see what's going on with this. Um, I need to move my screen up a little bit. I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, we're back. I adjusted my screen a little bit. I'm going to clear my workspace. CLC right there. We'll clear it. All right, so now we're set. Um, hit the up button again to see what's there. Let's try this again. Let's, in this, this time, let's have it a spacing of four. So we get every fourth year. There we go. So now when I return it, all right, so you can see how this guy works. Let's do one more. We're actually going to use this one here in a minute. Uh, I'm going to create a time vector, and I want to go from, oh, I don't know, five seconds to six seconds and have a list of every tenth of a second. So I'm going to have my time is equal to square brackets. We start at five. Let's go up by increments of a tenth of a second, 0.1. And we'll end at six seconds. There we go. Time from five to six, one tenth of a second. And when I hit return, there we go. There's my time, columns one through nine, five, 5.1, 5 5.2. 5 so, all right, so you can see how that works. Uh, now, if I want to create a second vector, which uses this time vector. I'd like to have uh, something down here that uses all those numbers to do calculations on. I can't just do multiply or I get an error. Uh, suppose, for example, I made a vector x, and I want vector x to be the first, first element would be 5 squared, the second element's 5.1 squared, the third is 5.2 squared. What is that going to look like? Uh, if I just put in here t, squared, x is equal to t squared. When I hit return, oh, there's an error because uh, it doesn't know which one of these numbers to square unless 
I put that little dot right there. If I call it an element wise power and put the dot in, it works fine. So let's try that. X is equal to T. And then I put the, see that little dot I put right there? That makes it element wise. So now I should have some numbers. There we go. 5 squared gives me 25. 5.1 squared gives me 26.01. 5.2 squared gives me 27.08. So I have this another vector, which is all of the elements in T squared. So that's good. Uh, let's do another one down here, another example. Let's call this, let's suppose these really are times, and I want to calculate the velocity. And for this guy, I have an initial velocity of 200, and we're slowing down, and it's going to be the acceleration times the time, so let's say a minus a 16 times, let's see, wait a minute, I hit the wrong button, minus 16, need the period times, there we go, we're doing the element wise times t. So we have 200 minus 16t, and that will give me my velocity. At a certain time, let's we'll see what my v vector looks like. All right, so there's it did all the calculations with my t vector up here, and we have 200 minus 16t. So now we have a velocity vector. All right, so I can create vectors. I can do calculations element-wise calculations on vectors to create a new vector. The other interesting thing you'll want to do is make plots of this. So if I wanted to plot this, uh, the command is very simple. It's just plot. And then the first, the first guy here is the horizontal axis. So for this horizontal axis, I want time. So I'm putting time there. And for the vertical axis, let's put this velocity Time, velocity. All right, so for this command, plot, you need two vectors. I have the time vector and the velocity vector. The horizontal axis will plot time, vertical axis is velocity. Let's see what happens when I hit run. It's, it's went off to think about it. All right, where did my plot go? All right, here's my plot. It was hidden behind some other things, but it created this plot. On the horizontal axis, I've got the time, 5 to 6. The vertical axis is the numbers that showed up when we did, when we did this calculation right here. All right, so there you go. How to make vectors, how to do calculations on vectors, and how to plot from that. I put those commands together in a little script, and I will leave this on the screen here for a minute. So if you want to see what all those commands look like in script form, here they are as a script, and I'll leave that up. Have fun with homework this weekend, or whenever you do it. Talk to you later.